Soldiers continue to evacuate residents of Porto Alegre, trapped in their homes since the weekend. The flooded Guaiba River continues to rise in the historic downtown area, where sewage has overflown onto the streets, turning them into contaminated pools. Military boats bring in evacuees from El Dorado, a city across the river. Maria Eduarda Santos says she and her one-year-old baby are lucky to be alive. A lot of people drowned. We saw dead horses floating in the river. It was like a tsunami. Last Thursday, the water started rising at 5 in the morning. We escaped to the top floor of a school with about 150 other people. No water, no food. People were desperate. No one knew what was happening. Maria Eduarda and her brother were finally rescued, but had to leave everything they had behind. I asked Mario Santos what he and his family will do. No, I have no idea. I'll go to my sister's house for now. We lost everything. We have nothing left. Nearly 1.5 million people have been affected by the unprecedented floods, the worst ever seen in the state of Rio Grande do Sul. Al Jazeera accompanied the army on a rescue boat, passing submerged homes on the way to El Dorado. The sergeant believes climate change, along with the El Nino phenomena, are responsible for this disaster. Rescue teams using jet skis and rubber dinghies can only bring one or two people out at a time to the waiting military boat. Women, children and the elderly are given priority. 50,000 people live in the city of El Dorado. And over there you can't see it because it's absolutely covered in water. About six days ago the water started rising, these people tell me. And now it's been at least three days since it was completely covered. They've been waiting for help for that long. And there's still thousands and thousands more waiting to be, to be rescued. It's a painfully slow process. Help is coming from all over Brazil. Volunteers bringing anything that floats, even surfboards, to evacuate people. The government is releasing emergency funding aid. But more than 400 municipalities of the state and its colonial-style capital are still flooded. Nearly 50,000 people have no shelter. And the waters show no sign of receding. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Porto Alegre, Brazil. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.